Good morning. Praise the Lord. What a beautiful, precious new day in the presence of God. It's a new day of God's anointing. It's a new day of the wisdom of God. It's a new day of the glory of the Lord Christ in your life. And uh, it's precious to be early in the morning in the presence of the Lord, especially in a devotion like this. So thank you for joining me. My prayer is that the God will bless you and that your heart will be revived and that you will receive the, uh, the freshness of the Word of God every morning. Praise the Lord. So we are busy in Matthew chapter five, uh, 7 and let us continue to read from verse 24 up to 27. And Jesus uh, was speaking and teaching and he says, Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat on that house, and it fell, and great was its form. <clears throat> so, uh, Jesus is busy concluding uh, the teachings that he gave and these teachings started in Matthew chapter 5 um, where he was teaching all different kinds of things and speaking different things and uh, one of the things that really stood out was in Matthew 5 verse 20 where Jesus said unless your righteousness is uh, exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees you will never enter the kingdom of heaven um, so this is the teachings that will help us where our righteousness will be greater and will be exceeding the righteousness of those people in the day, the religious believers of his day. And so many uh, times uh, in our day, we also have people believing in a, a religious way. They hear the word of God. They know many scriptures. They know many of the stories of the Bible. But somehow they never apply the word of God. Somehow they never become doers of the word of God. And this is what Jesus is saying. If you want to be a wise man, you not only have to hear the instructions of God. You not only have to hear the word of God. You actually have to become a doer of the word of God. Uh, and likewise, if you want to be a foolish person, and only you in your heart knows whether you are foolish or whether you are wise. A foolish person is a person that can tell you stories about the Bible. He can tell you stories about Jesus. He can tell you stories about Elijah and Eli uh, 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 Elijah and all the great men of God and about Abraham and Adam and Jacob. And they can tell you the stories about how Jacob was uh, wrestling with the angel and all these beautiful things they can tell you but they never started doing what God instructed them. And Jesus says, those people will be likened like a fool who built his house on the sand. A rock is immovable. A rock is solid. Sand, on the other hand, is movable. Just think about the desert in Namibia, how the wind uh, uh, blows the sand uh, wherever it wants. And tomorrow there's a dune here. And next week the dune has been moved just by wind. And this is what Jesus is saying. If you want to have a solid life, if you want to have a life that is founded on the rock, Jesus Christ, you have to become a doer of the word of God. And the first thing that you need to do is to become born again. The second thing in your journey is to come down to the, uh, to the rivers or to the sea or to the water to be baptized and to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Uh, then your journey will take you into the, uh, the desert whereby you need now to learn uh, to use the equipping and the, and the strength that the Holy Spirit has given you to overcome temptation. And then you enter your promised land. And that promised land is not heaven. That promised land is your destiny that God has for you. And remember when the Israelites came into their promised land in Canaan, what happened? They had to fight to uh, uh, war out all the uh, uh, enemies and all the inhabitants in the land so that they can actually occupy their blessing. And it's the same way with your life and my life. There are so many enemies that are occupying our life and occupying our blessing and 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 we are struggling to to make ends meet because we never understood 
that it is a, a life that needs to be built on a solid rock. Your life needs to be built on Jesus and you need to be a doer of the word of God. It's not good enough if you can only hear and try to pray one or two verses and try to pray, pray one or two sentences. Uh, it's not how it works. Christianity is a, is a deep-seated uh, uh, move that happens in your spirit. And from within you, it starts to change your mind and your understanding of God. And it moves you to action. If you are not moving into action, and if, if your Christianity has not moved you into action, what kind of Christianity do you have? What kind of belief do you have? And this is what Jesus is saying. The winds, the rain, the storm will come on everybody's life. But... The foolish one who have never built his house on the solid rock, on Jesus Christ. When the storms come, when the rain fall, when the wind blow, you will start to be moved. You will start to be, uh, um, you will start to experience those uh, forces that are coming against you. You will be shaken. And Jesus said, and that house will fall and the fall will be great. But if you are on the solid rock, Jesus found it, and you are, and, uh, you are obedient to the instructions, you are obeying the word of God, you are doing the word of God, not only listening to the word of God. That is how you actually built your, your life on the solid rock, is by doing what God instructs. When the rain come, when the storm come, when the wind come, and it will come. If you are long enough in the earth, you will know that it will come. There's no guarantee that storms will not blow against Christians. There's no guarantee that rain, uh, and I'm talking about life's disasters, and I'm talking about uh, attacks from the enemy that will not come against Christians. It is coming. The only difference is where and how did you build your house? If you have built your house, if you have built your life, if you have built your, your business, if you have built your marriage, if you have built your children on the rock, Jesus Christ. When the storms come, you will keep standing like a wise man. But if you have not built on Christ, and how do you build? Is the one who obeys the instructions of the word. And that is what Jesus is teaching now when it comes to a conclusion. And he said, a wise man does what I instructed. A foolish man, just hear and he walks away. What kind of man are you? What kind of woman are you? Are you wise? Are you foolish? I pray for you that you will be a wise person. I pray that you will become obediently, utterly obedient to Jesus Christ in everything in your life in Jesus' name so that you can be found on the solid rock and when the storm come, that the Spirit of Christ can carry you through. May God bless you. Father, this morning I want to pray for everyone under the influence of this broadcast that they will be wise in Jesus' mighty name, that they will build their house on the solid rock and that when the winds come and when the storm come and when the rain come, oh God, that they will keep standing in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to pray for everyone that has been foolish until now, who have been uh, not... Uh, uh, obeying your instructions God I pray that this day will be a turning point in their lives in Jesus name that they will come to the understanding that they need to build on the solid rock and they need to be obedient to your instructions in the mighty name of Jesus I pray I declare and decree that you are moving away from foolishness stupidity you are moving away from your stiff neckedness and and hard-heartedness and you are moving to a humbleness to obediently uh, and submissively obey the instructions that God has given you. In Jesus' mighty name, I bless you. Amen. Have a great day. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you tomorrow morning.